welcome back to my channel. It is b -b 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 freezing cold today, you guys. It is, well, my car says it's 39, but my phone says it's 19 degrees outside. I don't know what to believe, but I just know that it's really, really cold out, and I hate it. Your girl's from Texas, and I was just not meant for this weather. I'm ready for summer. I'm ready for 100 degree weather. I'm ready to be in short and, and be sweating because I like sweating, and I hate freezing. Today's video is actually going to be about intermittent fasting, and I'm really, really excited because this is something that I've been doing for a long time now like it'll be two years in June so I'm going to go through and just really just talk to you guys about it um, I made a couple videos a while back but it's been a long time since then and I'm getting very very repetitive questions over it so I figured the best way to address them is with a video however I have a conference call in an hour that I need some energy for it's it's gonna be a long a long good one and I'm really excited to share everything with you guys but I need some coffee so I'm gonna go run through a Starbucks drive-through I'm so proud of myself you guys I haven't been to Starbucks in like seven days which is a really big deal for me you guys know this like I was a day Daily Starbucks girl. I'll have a tall cap, triple shot, half cap. Small scrap, nipple slap, half half. But I've been doing really good about drinking coffee at home to save some extra change here and there because it gets a little bit pricey. I know all of you guys can relate to that. So very proud moment for me, big, big deal. But I also think that has to do with like it being so cold. I do enjoy going to Starbucks and like sitting outside on the patio during the summertime. And especially now that I have little Nico, which I'll show you guys him in a little bit too. Now that I have Nico, I'm gonna be going to all the dog friendly coffee shops during the summertime and the spring when it warms up. So I guess I'm going to make the most of it right now. Man, I ramble so much, you guys. All right, let's go get some coffee. Hi, Hi. could I just get a venti iced coffee with nothing in it? And can I get that blended with no base? Okay, so you want a venti iced coffee with what else? Uh, I just want it blended with no base. And you wanted the sweetener in there? No sweetener. And that's it. All right, 341. Thank you. Aha, uh -huh. we got the coffee. I was gonna get crap for trying to order this drink here because like I always get nervous ordering that blended coffee at Starbucks I've never been to because it's not a normal drink to order, but I think they nailed it. I think they nailed it. They nailed it. They nailed this drink. All right, so I'm heading back home. Gotta let Nico out and then I have a conference call. Are you guys ready to go outside? Are you ready to go outside? See, Nico's so good he doesn't even need a leash. Well, not here anyways. All right, let's go. Come on, come on. Oh, gosh. <laughs> You're such a talker, go, go. Come on, Nico. <laughs> oh, it's so cold out here. Nico, where are you, what are you doing? <laughs> Handsome. Say, I'm doing so good. I'm getting so acquainted to this new home. Yes, yes. And there we go. Nope, wrong door, wrong door. <laughs> come in, come in. Got my hands full, y'all. We finally mastered the front door step. He was like, not. He was so scared of that front door. And so I'm um, saying so hello to YouTube. Hello YouTube, I'm just getting cuter by the day. Mama loves me, I love mama. Yes, yes. Come on, Nico. Show everyone your stair skills. I spent all day yesterday teaching him this. Let's do it, come on. Come on, you can do it. Yes, you're a big boy. You're a big boy now. <laughs> Keep going, you're almost there. You're almost there. Yay, good boy, Nico, come here, come here. Give mama loving, give mama loving, yes. It's just something to think about so that you're not caught off guard if it does happen. Okay, perfect. All right, I'll uh, make notes of that. Sir, I have a question. For the students that are in pairs, or in sets, I'm sorry, have you thought about how it's going to work logistically? Like Chrissy said, for people that are two different sizes, Tops and bottoms. So I'm thinking we're just gonna sell all of them individually. That way they can mix and match. Cause Chrissy brought up a good point. Like, you know, some That's people are a small top, medium bottom, or vice versa. So I think that would be the best route to go. Yeah, I think you'd one hundred percent be shooting yourself in the foot. I would never in a million years buy a swimsuit that was sold together as a set. Yeah. And most people wouldn't. So you might end up and like again, this is gonna tell us a lot. Like this is where we come in. We're gonna be able to see your inventory and we're gonna be able to look at what sizes are selling the best in tops and bottoms. And then we can, like next time it might be, you do 300, you might you might need to mess with quantities and like the bottoms might not always match up with the tops. You see what I'm saying? Like instead of doing like 30 larges bottoms and 30 larges tops, you might end up only doing 10 large bottoms and 30 large tops. 
Exactly. So that's kind of something to think about. We might have to mesh with quantities and all of that. But that's, again, like that's where we come in and we'll fine tune all of that as your sales start coming in. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I know that sounds like a really good game plan. Okay. So literally my life in a nutshell as we speak. I am sprawled out all over the counter because I have something very exciting to share with you guys. So I haven't announced it yet, but I guess this is a official unofficial announcement. On March 16th, I am launching a swimwear line and I've been working on this for freaking ever it feels like. I have been working on this since last June or July. It's been a long time in the making. So I'm really, really, really excited to bring this for you guys. Nico, are you excited? Say, I just finished playing while mom was on a conference call and now I just want to sleep. Why couldn't you have been sleeping five minutes ago? We just got off the conference call though. Um, it looks like I'm actually going to be going out to shoot the content in a couple of weeks or in a month or so. There are no words. Like when you've been working on something for so long and I'm so nervous and I'm so excited and so anxious and there's so many emotions that are going into this. I've just like, I feel like I've poured my heart into this the past few months. It just feels really good. It feels really, really good to finally see it almost time to launch. So March 16th is the big day. I'm going to leave the Instagram on the screen right now for you guys. It is literally just at suave swim. Now it is time to talk about the intermittent fasting. So let's talk intermittent fasting. I feel like with the new year, everyone wants to know what the best approach is. Everyone wants to know what everyone else's approach is, what's working for them, what's not working for them. And this is one dieting tool that has truly changed the game for me. To keep it simple, intermittent fasting is literally just this. It is literally just a concept of fasting during a certain hour of the day or in between certain hours of the day and then having a feeding window. So you're literally going to fast from point A to point B and then you're going to eat from point B to point C. One of the most beneficial parts of intermittent fasting for me has literally been that it condenses all of your calorie intake into a certain amount of time and because of that you don't feel hungry all day long which I think one of the biggest misconceptions is that intermittent fasting, you're just starving during your fasting state. And that's not the case at all. Um, for me, when I first started out intermittent fasting, it kind of was just because my body was not regulated and it was not used to that approach yet. But after the first couple of weeks, it was so much easier to you guys. And so because my feeding window is in a certain amount of time during the day, I feel so much less hungry. My cravings have been cut down dr drastically. Like, I mean, obviously I'm still gonna crave things like any girl would, but I don't feel deprived. I'm not hungry all day. I don't feel ravished at any point during the day. One of the other big questions that I've been getting asked is during your fasted state, Brittany, what do you consume? Um, you've probably, if you've watched videos over intermittent fasting, you probably know that a lot of people tend to drink a lot of their liquids for the day during their fasted state. And the reason this is, is one, it's going to fill you up. Um, it's going to help curb any hunger cravings that you might have at the get-go. When you just start intermittent fasting, it can be difficult because like I said, your body's not regulated to it yet and it's not used to it. That being said, during my fasted state, I tend to drink a lot of water. I almost to the point where like I'm consuming my entire day's worth of water during my fasted state. And the reason that is, is because when I'm actually in my feeding window, I feel so full that it would be really, really hard for me to eat all of my food and also get in all of my water. Drinks that you can consume during your fasted state are water, I drink any kind of tea that's zero calories, and of course coffee. Coffee is fine, however, you cannot add a bunch of creamer and you cannot add a bunch of sugar. I know, I know that probably breaks y'all's heart, but it's the truth. But I'll get into that here in a little bit. What do I eat during my feeding window? Well, I tend to eat a lot of the same foods, and if you guys have been following me for a while, you know this already. It's simply because I love those foods. I genuinely enjoy consuming those foods and that makes it so much easier to stick to diet. When you are actually loving what you're eating, it's so much easier to stay on track and you're not gonna be tempted to go get pizza. I mean, if you wanna fit pizza into your macros, go for it. Um, but you're not gonna feel tempted to like fall wayside and completely, you know, go downhill. I used to be one of those girls that would eat like six small meals a day and literally 30 minutes after I ate my meal, I was already hungry again. And I felt like I was literally watching the clock until I could eat my next meal, which was crazy. 
crazy because when I look back, I'm like, my entire day was consumed by when I was eating my next meal. And to me personally, you know, I went through that phase in my life and it's just not feasible for me to be that way now because I've got crap to do. I wake up, I hit the ground running and, and it's just not, it's not a maintainable lifestyle to be eating six small meals a day because then you've got to prep them and I'm, I'm not gonna get into it. <laughs> so with fasting, I actually eat like four bigger meals a day. Um, I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but take my calorie consumption and you break that into four meals. Those are pretty big meals, you guys. Like I eat one meal around two or three o'clock is when I break my fast and I usually don't even get hungry again until almost five. And at that point, you know, like, I'm like, okay, I've got three big meals to still get in. I'm going to bed like with a full stomach. I never go to bed feeling hungry, which is a really good feeling. And another thing that girls tend to be scared of, and maybe, maybe I should make a video for that. Another big misconception is that during your feeding window, if you are very strict with your fasted window, that you can consume anything and everything that your heart desires. And that is not the case. I hate to break it to you, but if you are going crazy during your feeding window and you're eating just like, you know, gorging yourself, you're not gonna reach your fitness goals. Intermittent fasting is not a magic tool. It is not a magic pill. It is not a magic approach. If you're not utilizing it correctly and implementing it correctly with your diet and your diet does not go hand in hand with it, it's not gonna work for you. Another question I get asked a lot is, do I train fasted? Most of you guys might know that I train relatively early in the day, not like super early, but I'm usually like a 10 or 11 a.m. kind of person. Um, I like to wake up, have my coffee, answer some emails, and then just kind of like let my brain wake up a little bit. And then I head to the gym to train before the rest of my day starts. And I train fasted. I've been training fasted for quite some time now. It works for me. It might not work for you. I personally love it. The clarity that I get is unreal. Like I can train fasted and have the most insane workout. And then, you know, if I train in a fed state, which it's fine, you know, to each their own. Um, I just, it's, it's harder. It's harder for me to focus. It's harder for me to, I prefer to train fasted because it, it gives me insane mental clarity and I'm able to focus on what I'm there to do. However, if I have a heavy leg day, which is usually once a week, um, I will actually push my training time back to the evening, like five or 6 p.m. That way I make sure that I have an adequate meal beforehand because you need fuel for that kind of thing. But you know what, some days you're just like, I, want to work out and I don't really necessarily need to eat a huge meal beforehand. Disclaimer, that's just what works for me. Do what works for you. I feel like I've done a lot of rambling, so I made a note of some of the most popular questions that I get asked about intermittent fasting since I've been doing it. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to go through those. Does adding cream or milk to my coffee break my fast? Yes, yes, yes. You are consuming calories and it is going to trigger a metabolic response. Fasting equals not consuming calories during a given window, period. End of story. There's no way to beat around the bush. If you're consuming calories in a liquid form, you guys, I hate to break it to you, but that is still calories. That is why I literally just use stevia in my coffee most mornings because I don't want to break my fast. And you know what? Um, if I feel extra crazy, I'll get my favorite Starbucks drinks um, in the afternoon. That's why I usually drink teas. My favorite matcha tea or my favorite pink drink are usually afternoon kind of drinks for me because they, at that point, like I've already broken my fast. It's not a big deal. Do BCAAs, branch chain amino acids, break your fast? Well, I've read articles that it does trigger an insulin response that would break your fast. But then I've also read articles that it doesn't. So I don't have a straight answer for that for you guys right now. Um, I'm not a scientist. I hate to break it to you, but I'm not. Um, so, you know, there's, there's research articles that it does uh, trigger an insulin response, which is going to break your fast. But then there's also articles out there that say it's okay to drink branch chain amino acids during your fasted state. I personally, you know, I'm just here to tell you guys what works for me and what I do. I personally drink branch chain amino acids during my fasted state when I'm training fasted. I, I do that and I've been doing that and it seems to work okay for me. So take it or leave it. How do I begin fasting if I've never done it before? Very, very simple. You pick a feeding window. You pick a window. Whatever hours of the day you prefer to eat. If you are 
a night owl, I would probably suggest pushing your hours back later in the day. If you are somebody that goes to bed super early or maybe you have to wake up very, very early, then maybe move your hours up earlier to accommodate that. Um, personally, I'm a night owl. I, well, I say that. <laughs> I say I'm a night owl more so like in bed by 10, but prefer to eat my last meal right before bed. So that's my definition of a night owl. Because of that, I have my feeding window anywhere from two to 10 or three to 11, depending on, you know, my schedule at the time. Um, I usually break my fast around two o'clock and I'm usually in bed by 10.30. So my last meal is literally right before bed. But do what works for you. Like I said, if you are super early morning, you know, if you wake up really, really early for work and it just is not feasible, like say you wake up at 4 a.m. and it just does not seem realistic to push your fast all the way to 2 p.m., maybe try like 11 to 7 p.m. or 12 to 8 p.m. You can move the window around however you please. And that's just the beauty of intermittent fasting. Is intermittent fasting tough at first? Yeah, um, it was tough. It was tough because my body had not adapted to it. Used to be that girl that would literally wake up at like 5 a.m. and have her first meal at 5.30. Uh, I would always wake up so hungry, like ravishing, metabolism was going. And now, metabolism is still going strong, but I don't really get those hunger cravings until around one or two. So um, you just have to give your time, you have to give your body time to adapt to it and to adjust. After the first initial week, it gets so much easier. And like I said, the mental clarity that comes with it is just unreal. I really don't know why I get asked this question a lot because I feel like it's just common sense, but I'm gonna answer it anyways. Does drinking a protein shake break my fast absolutely you guys absolutely consuming calories of any sense in any form food or liquid is going to break your fast end of story what are the benefits of intermittent fasting i made a list for you guys it increases your insulin sensitivity and decreases 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 overall insulin within the body it also helps reduction and inflammation or reduces inflammation, which is a huge factor, you guys. Like, wow, I, yeah, that, that's another video. That's another video. It also aids in fat loss or can aid in fat loss. And this kind of goes hand in hand with just being able to stick to your diet, but there's also a lot of scientific research behind helping with fat loss in general. Not only that, but it improves cognitive function, which you guys, like, I've said this five times already in this video, but the mental clarity out of this world. What do I personally break my fast with? Apple cider vinegar shots and a full meal plus multivitamins from First Form. If you guys want a full day of eating, like solely around what I break my fast with, etc., etc., give this video a thumbs up. And last but not least, you guys, I thought you had to eat breakfast. N no, no. That is a very outdated stigma, and there are a lot of research studies out there to prove that wrong. You know, I think that's just something that we were all like growing up being told. You don't have to eat six meals a day starting at 8 a.m. I know, mind blown. Overall, intermittent fasting is proven and shown to improve your health, improve insulin sensitivity, improve cognitive function, you guys. It is safe, it is effective, and it is shown to help you lose weight if that is your goal. Personally, it's brought mental clarity, it's helped with digestion issues, it has helped my sleep patterns, you guys. Like, there are so many benefits to intermittent fasting, and that is the exact reason that I've been doing it for as long as I have. I love it. It is a tool it's not a diet it is a tool it's just the whole nine yards you guys i love it i love everything about it if you guys liked this video give it a thumbs up if you guys want a full day of eating on my channel in regards to intermittent fasting he's just like passed out right now and it's the cutest thing ever such a rough life you guys like he just he plays and then he sleeps until he's got energy again and then he plays more and my heart my whole heart. All right, guys, like I said, if you want a video over intermittent fasting, full day of eating, give this one a thumbs up and I'll get that going for you guys. As always, thank you guys for stopping in on my channel and I will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye.